Hi everyone, so today I'm going to talk about more on chain error notation, especially for five or more entries. Seen a lot of people uh, were asking me about how this works, so I'm going to make video on this. Uh, I already have a previous video uh, some years ago, so you can watch that first, but that one is very basic. It talks about everything with four entries or less. So, but first, uh, let's talk about some of the basics first again. And again, the uh, chain error notation is a recursive function, very recursive, similar to the Ackermann function, but on steroids. So anyway, um, first of all, so there are some rules I written down here. So basically, if the chain is like this, one arrow A, da 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 da, it just equal to one. So everything after one is ignored. Uh, um, but there's some exception I'm gonna show you. So the second rule, uh, if it's x, arrow 1, da, da 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 then of course it's just equal to x because anything after 1 is cancelled. However, the exception is this thing over here. So if it's something like that, if the 1, you know, is inside part of a bracket, then only, it only works within the bracket. So everything here, I mean, only 1 and d is at nor. So everything outside the bracket, it doesn't, uh, affected so you don't you cannot ignore the e over here so it this thing over here it just equals to x arrow a arrow b c arrow e so you just ignore one and d you don't ignore the thing outside the bracket and then the third rule so two arrow two da 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 it just equal to two some arrows two so doesn't matter how many entries behind the first two twos is just equal to four. Um, you see in a second, so rule four is x arrow y arrow a da 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 da. It just equals to x some arrows y. Therefore, you can see y two arrow two da 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 da. It just equals to four. And x arrow a arrow da 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 da. It just equal to x to some very big power of y. So y is some very big number. Um, so as you can see, if the first number is 10, then the whole chain, doesn't matter how long it is, it's just some power of 10. So here, you know the basic rules. And then rule 6, so the basic one, A arrow B is just equal to A to the power of B. A arrow B arrow C is just equal to A with C number of arrows B. And then rule 8, A arrow B arrow C arrow D, this is the 4 entry rule, it's just equal to A, B, and then A, B, C minus 1, D, arrow d minus one so we can pause the video if you don't understand it so we basically you just uh, take c and replace c with the whole chain and inside that chain you just put c minus one and then at the end you minus one from d feel free to pause the video again i think it's pretty straightforward actually and then a lot of people ask me what is five entry or six entry or more. It's just the same idea as you can see here. A, B, C, D, E is just equal to A, arrow, B, arrow, C, da, 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 da. And then there's a bracket here. A, arrow, B, arrow, C, D minus one, arrow, E, arrow, E minus one. So you can see the pattern here. Same thing for six entries. So A, B, C, D, E, F is just equal to A, B, C, D, and then A, B, C, D, E minus one, F, arrow f minus one so as you can see the second last entry get to minus one subtract one from the second last one so in this case e and then the last entry is just f minus one but of course the end the entry becomes a lot longer than previously that's why that's the definition of recursive function it gets longer and longer it keeps calling itself so kind of like Ackermann function uh, but of course much more powerful than Ackermann and then uh, now those are the basic 10 rules over here. Well, with A, B, C, D, E, F, G, seven entry is just the same thing. Uh, the pattern continues. So for Graham's number, we know that uh, it cannot represent precisely. However, it's somewhere between, uh, so G64 is somewhere between 33642 and 33652. And then, um, and then let's look at one example here, 3333 with four threes. Uh, very straightforward here. However, this thing is already much, much bigger than Graham's number. So let's see. So you apply rule eight over here. So three, three, and then three, three, two, three, two. Again, this is just from rule eight. Feel free to pause the video if you want. And then you just solve this. Again, I'm not go over. I'm not gonna go over this. But it becomes this, and then this, and then this, and then this. You can pause the video, and then 
33G272 because 33 is somewhere around G27. As you can see the pattern here, G64 is around 33642. So at the end, 3333 is somewhere around G of G27, which is way, way, way bigger than G64. Because Graham's number is a G of 64. This is G of G27. Is so since G27 is way bigger than 64, this is way bigger than Graham's number. It's just pretty crazy. Uh, and this is again just four threes, uh, very small numbers. And then the next example we're gonna look at is 3343. Three. So again, you apply the same rule over here, rule eight. And then as you can see, we already know 3333 three, three, three is around G of G27. So therefore this number is around G of G of G27. So just changing the third number from three to four, you get a way, 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 way bigger number. And for the general rule, three, three, and three is somewhere around this thing over here. So with G, 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 27 with N minus one number of G. So imagine if N is a hundred. So three, three, hundred, three is somewhere around G, 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 27 with 99 Gs. However, um, as big as it is, it seems. So three, three, N, three, the growth rate is somewhere around f of omega plus 2n and we know that gram sequence g sequence is around f of omega plus 1n actually slightly slower than this but just something this crazy is just add one to the f uh, fast growing hierarchy and then 3 3 n 4 if you add one to the last number the, for four entries you just get 4 omega plus 3n so you can see the pattern here, 3, 3, N, 10 is somewhere around F of omega plus 9, N. And then let's look at just one or two more uh, example here. So now we look at five entries. So 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, what is that? Is again, you apply rule nine over here, uh, which is very similar. So which is equal to 3, 3, 3, and then bracket 3, 3, 3, 2, 3, 2. Feel free to pause the video again, and then, uh, which is, I'm not going to solve this, uh, again, after this, you're going to solve everything within a bracket first, and until you solve everything, which could be very, very, very messy, this is why a chain error or anything recursive is so big, because, you know, every single step, it gets longer and longer, but eventually it will terminate. And then, so for the general rule, 333N3, this is 5 entry, the growth rate is around f of omega times 2 plus 2. Again, feel free to pause the video. You can see the pattern here. So at the end, so again, you can add more entries. So for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, for 7 entries, something like that, is somewhere around f of omega times 5n for the growth rate. And at the end, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 with n plus 2 number of 3s, the growth rate is around f of omega square n. And this is kind of the limit for the regular chain error notation. Of course, there are some other extension that people created, which uh, makes it grow much faster. But uh, that would be another video maybe if I want to make it. So anyway, this is uh, chain error notations for five or more entries. So anyway, thanks for watching and have a nice day.